rest it up, Millsy. It was a good suspension to have, wasn't it, for Tuesday? Yeah, obviously I would have liked to be over there, but um, you know, obviously missing out more so on the flight than, than wanting to, to miss a match. But um, yeah, look, I think the boys did did well the other night. It's always very difficult travelling away from home to Asia uh, and trying to trying to force a match when they were really happy with a draw. Mm, but it's left you in pretty good nick, I'd say, for this game, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, as, as, as good as it as good as it gets, I think at the end of the season, uh, you know, it's been it's been quite a long year, so it's, um, it was a good chance to to freshen up, uh, not just for myself, for Pablo and Jimmy, and obviously Guy as well. So um, yeah, hopefully a few fresh bodies coming in with uh, well, an extra day's rest this week. Is that the key to this game, the fact that you four are uh, fit, fresh, and rested? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's. Uh, I think there's a, a lot of, going to be a lot of factors. Obviously, it, it helps when you can bring in a few fresh bodies during such a busy period. But um, you know, the boys have all been well looked after, and as I said, compared to last week, this week should be um, everyone should be very well rested. How did you find today's session? Yeah, it was good. We um, we uh, they always planned it for it to be a little bit of a shorter one, but we wanted to make sure that it was as intense and um, you know as energetic as, as possible. Uh, you know, so we weren't going to be out here for a long time, but it, but it was good. It was uh, it was nice and sharp. Yeah, well, obviously Tommy's been dealing with uh, with things for a little bit longer, trying to get ready. So um, yeah, he's still coming along steadily, I think. But uh, Guy, Guy should be fine, I think. Guy was just a bit more precautionary today, just uh, keep him ticking over and make sure that he's 100% for the weekend. Disappointing finish to the um, Asian Champions League campaign, but it was a very positive campaign. How is the mood in the squad having come back from that, that result? Yeah, well, speaking to speaking to a few of the boys after the game, obviously everyone was extremely disappointed because we wanted to we wanted to progress in the Champions League. Um, everyone worked extremely hard in, in all the games we played in, and it was a very tight group. It was a very tough group, um, so we knew we had our work cut out for us from the very beginning. But uh, look, I think now looking back, and everyone's <clears throat> everyone's back home, and it's sort of all done and dusted. I think I think everyone can be, can be proud about how they conducted themselves throughout the throughout the tournament. Uh, you know, we said from the beginning as a squad, uh, you know, internally as well as externally, that, that we wanted to achieve certain things. Obviously, we fell a little bit short, but but I think we can take a lot of positives out of the campaign in general. Can you just give us an idea of what the preparations have been since the team returned yesterday and what you'll be doing for the rest of today and tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yesterday, obviously, the boys that, that travelled, they, they went straight home and got a good rest. Uh, everyone that didn't, we were all in. We did a recovery and... And whatnot, and obviously we had the session this morning. Um, we'll have probably an extended recovery now, and then we have we have a meal together. And um, anyone who needs treatment, uh, anything like that, we'll, we'll sort of got, get seen to after that. Be a decent cure, I would have thought. No, it's not too bad actually. <laughs> Much has been made, uh, of you know the fixture pile up and the scheduling, but a lot of people say it's actually brought the team together and has been a, a positive in terms of building that bonding and morale. Is that how you see it? That it's actually worked to your advantage? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously the <clears throat> the scheduling, especially over the last few weeks, not just for us but for other the other teams, has been um, well, very difficult. And I think we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll play a part this weekend as well. But um, Overall, I think the Champions League for us has been excellent. I mean, there's uh, being realistic. There's not really that many games in the A League, and um, you know, you sort of you can go through a year where a lot of the young boys or new players don't really get a chance. And the Champions League's really given our young boys a, a chance to come in and, and get some game time. And and to be fair, they've done extremely well. They've been very, very good. So I mean, that experience that they've gained over the last couple months coming into finals is going to be invaluable for us. I mean you want to make a grand final anyway but is there the added motivation that you actually have to win this game to more or less guarantee you'll be in the Champions League next time? Well yeah absolutely you know we um, yeah we, we said from the beginning that the Champions League is something that we want to be involved in and you know I guess if you if you want to look at it that way there's a little bit more extra motivation but to be honest at finals time mm up at Suncorp against the champions this year I don't think um, I don't think the boys need too much more motivation to get up for that one nothing to fear from Brisbane I mean you've run them close twice they beat you easily enough in January but the la the other two you beat them and only went down in the last minute yeah well you know it has been a little bit of a roller coaster season for us but I think we've been quite steady especially defensively over the last uh, four or five weeks especially so look there, there's no doubting their ability in attack and, and the players that they have on the park um, we're gonna go there'll be we'll go out there and, and we'll we'll play our game we'll uh, we'll try and we'll try and get at them and I don't think we'll shy away from that and I don't think 
don't think they will either. So I think it's going to be a, um, I think it's going to be a very good game, hard fought as most of them have been this year. Uh, but obviously, you know that little bit extra intensity uh, with the grand final on the line. What about facing Bessar Parisha? He hasn't played against you in any of the games this season, but he's going to be joining you next season. Does that play on your mind at all? Does it have any impact when you go up against him? How do you react to that? No, I don't think so. I don't think uh, I don't think any of our centre backs are going to hold back if they get the chance. So. Look, he's the same. He's very passionate. He's obviously a big part of, of what they do and the way that they play. And, um, you know, he, he's shown on the field he's very passionate about the way he goes about things. So he's going to be wanting to win as much as our boys. Uh, I'm sure no matter what happens this weekend, um, it'll all be hugs and kisses next year. You make a point of not changing your style of play when you play different teams. It's always very aggressive, very proactive. Brisbane are a similar team. They like to have the ball. What are you expecting from this match? Yeah, I think it's going to be hopefully going to be quite an open attacking match. Um, as you say, they, you know, of the obvious players they have and the firepower that they have, have a very high work rate through midfield. Um, we're going to want to get at them as well. So, yeah, it, everything's on the line. I think uh, last time we played them, they had they had a great deal to play for with the Premier's played and things like that. And I don't know. I think I think this one, both teams have a. You know, equally as much to play for. Everything's on the line. Um, we don't want our season to end this weekend, and uh, I guess neither do they. So, uh, yeah, we, we're just going to have to have faith in, in how we do things, and that um, we're going to do a little bit better than them this weekend.